Hey, what's up guys? I hope you have an amazing day and having a great week. I am Jose Daniel and welcome back to another video. If you haven't seen my last video about street photography, you can go and check out the link here on the top because today I'm going to open Lightroom and I'm going to show you and explain you a little bit the composition of those photos, how one photo works better than the other ones as I was doing a continuous shot and I was following the cards with a slow shutter speed to have more motion into the photos. So let's go and check it out the photos and see how the lines work, how the compositions work and what is the history behind those photos and what they mean for me. So let's go and open it. Hmm. When I took this photo in the camera it wasn't looks really good but here in the big screen looks looks much better. And then this one looks great this one here you can see the girl here on the right and then you can see the bus here on the left and make more bike of the street and that is more life to it this one can work better you can see more the person and then you can see the bus unfortunately this bus has the lights off but we can tweak it with the edition let's see what we can what we can get this one looks good but you see here on the right hand side looks like really empty and then here on the left the bus is really far away this one gives more motion you can see the background you can see the bus is sharp this car is blur uh, the same of the people give more motion to the photo if you see this one is like nothing is happening the car is moving or not you don't know what is ha happening you don't know what's coming on and you can see this cyclist the yeah the cyclist is like blur but the rest is like really sharp there's no motion on it so it looks like something is missing but when you compare this photo here you can start watching the background uh, as blur you can see the car is blur as well the people a little bit you can start seeing some motion into the shot some motion in the photo look this one looks much better you can see the motion and you can see you are following the bus I, I really like this one you can see the red stoplight for this car and then it's, the car is black but you can see some reflections on the car and you can see the bus is red as well so it can make some contrast on the right hand side of the picture and then on the left hand side and then you can see a little bit of the cyclist here and the other person here in the side wall just waiting for it it's, I think this picture looks more dynamic have more motion into the picture more things happening in one photo so it's like the car is passing the cyclist, the bus is coming the other person is waiting in the traffic light uh, I think the composition of this photo I really like the next photo is the continuity but it's like the car is really at the front of the bus and then it's not too much contrast it's, you can see here it's like not too much happening not too much different so this one is the same and now this one the bosses are there the people here not too much happening either and then this cyclist came here and give more motion you can see the cyclist is coming the, you can see the bus is taking to the junction and is trying to cross or going for one way so this photo can work well and this is like just a still photo we can just select it to see what we can play with and you can see here on the background is another car coming and some people but it's not really really too much as this one with the cyclists here and then this one is closer this can work as well if you turn on the grip the rule of third you can see the bus is in this line and then the cyclist is in this line too and then it's in the middle of the composition you can see the building here behind is in this part of the rule of thirds and then the other building is in this part I think this composition works really really well because if you compare with this one it's not like the really contrast with the composition with the people with the bus with the background with everything so let's let's select this photo and then let's carry on with another shot 
Let's see what else. It's the same with this one. You can see the car is passing, it's blur, and you are waiting for the bus as well. So if we turn on, you can see the roll of turn in this part, and then the bus is in this part as well. So it's like, you, this one can work well as well. You can play around with it. It's, it's, it's really a little bit happening. It's more like a street vibe. Um, let me select this one as well. Now let's carry on. And here you can see two buses. So this one can work really well. So I just, you can see this one is sharp. And now this one is coming. It's a little bit blur. I think it was this photo would work better if both bosses was sharper than it is now what happened here i was trying to do like following the cars and um, just to blur the background and to see some traffic lights and that kind of stuff so i wasn't had the shooter speed too high so that is the reason i have this photo like like it is right now but i think for this photo it will be greater if if everything was sharper than it is now and then you can see here the green with the red is making some contrast if you go for a color wheel you can see the green and the red is making contrast if we can see more the background in this photo and the bus and this old man here sitting inside the bus i think it would work better because here is like the the bus is really dominant the, the frame of the the composition and then it's like not too much happening inside the bus um, you cannot see the background where the bus is so I think in this case doesn't work really well for that reason for example here you can see a little bit of the background you can see what is happening around the bus what is the history behind and the bus is moving where is, you can see where the bus is going you can see some people inside the bus It was taking a lot of pictures over there, so is that the reason I have like 600 photos when I download the, the photos into the computer? And then here I was trying to catch the buses, then you can see there are three buses, but then it's too many things around here, the side wall, and then this the construction side, you almost can see the buses, the building behind, and these things in the front ground is distracting you for the composition so you don't know where to see so if I see these columns here my eyes is going through these people here on the left you can see because you can follow this line here on the side wall as well on the street you can follow this line here you can follow this line here on the wall and then you can follow these lines and then if I see the picture my first impression is going to be just follow this line and then it's going to be from the right to the left. If I want to show these two pairs, these two girls are coming here, it works really, really nice. It will work perfectly. But my idea, my intention was to show you the bosses and then to show you here the background a little bit. So if that is my, it was my intention in this photo, it doesn't work properly for that. So you just following and seeing these two girls. So this could be a good example of following lines when you're taking photos. So make sure what you want to show to the people, what you want to express in the picture, um, if it works or not. So I didn't think really well of the composition of the photo. I just uh, see here and then, okay, I want to shoot the bosses and, and making some movements maybe or something like that but then here watching the photo you can say what I explained before with the lines so it's getting it's distracting me from this right hand side to the left so this could be a good option just to criticize that so I'm going to select this photo so you can think about it when you're going to make a song composition so let's carry on and see then you can see here in the next photos I just follow the bosses and then this person came here uh, it, it could work if this guy just passed through but he stopped in front of the camera he stopped in front of me and then blocking what I was doing so but anyway you can see it's not working really well 
So this photo, if I was here, this traffic light, you can, it, it would work better because you can see the lines. It won't forward you to see the bosses and see all the comp type of composition. So these photos are not really great and I'm not really happy with it. And then I just try to follow some taxis coming from my left hand side to the right cross. And we're just watching this building here in Sharp and having the taxi blur in motion. So this one, I think this one could work better because you can see the people here waiting for the traffic light. You can see the taxi is coming. You can see these other guys here on the right hand side this lady you can see the street where the taxi is going and you can see a little bit the building where it was because this photo here is just too much of the taxi here in the front and you cannot see something else you can see the cars here on the left but this one works better it's blending with the background a little bit black and then you can see the truck, the lights, and then you can see a little bit of the white of the taxi, the reflection, the wheels, you can see the headlights, and then you can see these people here. I think this one works really well. And then this one is far away, you cannot see too much what is happening. Now this bus came, and there is one photo I, I saw I watched it on the camera and I thought it was really nice. It's just a thing around here. I think this one was. Because you can see here the bus and you can see the big dog here. Make it some you know some advertising as well. But I, I really like this composition of the because you can see really sharp the advertise of the bus and the bus is white it's not typical to see a bus a white bus in london all the buses are red and this one looks really really nice this one looks really far away behind the bus you can then cannot see it here you can see completely bus you can see the building you can see a little bit the road side and some traffic lights over there and you can see the headlight of the car is waiting for the bus pass and then here the bus disappeared, it's gone, it not looks too much here you can see the front as well a little bit and uh, here in these ones you it's too dark here on the right hand side it's not too much happening so this photo here works really well, I really like it and then I just move around, I went to another place and then this is the station, my sister was taking the photo uh, I just saw that it could be great this kind of photo, the background blur and then having the, the station here on the photo and it looks really well I took this photo here and then I took this one but I went closer and you get a cleaner photo, better composition you have a nice shot over there and then I just move up a little bit the camera and you can see you here on the top looks like the trains, wagons over there and then you can see the stairs going up you can see a little bit the background of the building you can see the shape of the structures and then I move around to this side and to this photo and you can see the other ones over there as well and then I move some closer to get the shape colors and then I took this one just to blur the foreground and have the background chart and then I try to take some clubs out here in different angles and you can see here really looks really nice and then I took this photo here with this bicycles stand and I catch really my intention it was really nice I just took different kind of angles go when you go to take photos go different angles that people doesn't use to look for example you saw these lines here if I go back here to this photo you can see here on the right hand side 
those stand for the bicycles if you go there with the camera you can see how it looks really different and you can notice as well there are some lights here every few meters and that uh, when you illuminate here you can see it looks really nice it looks sharp this place was really good light and those are the photos I took and uh, now I'm going to go for a quick selection the photos I select I'm going to start making the adjustment for the saturation, contrast, exposure and I'm going to post it in Instagram so that's it for today guys I hope you like this video leave your comment below if you want to see the process how I edit the photos in Lightroom don't forget to hit the like button subscribe if you're not and see you guys in the next video peace